Welcome to Power Your Life Today. I'm Christy Joe, Mind and Body Strategist. Today, let's talk about how you can experience more cleanliness in your life. When we don't have cleanliness in our lives, often we can feel really frazzled, we can feel overwhelmed, little things become big things in our brain and it seems to all pile up, pile up, and your stress just goes dot, 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 dot. your cortisol goes dot, 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 dot. maybe your waistline goes dot, 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 dot. You know, it can have a lot of different impacts in your life. Have you ever heard the phrase, cleanliness is next to godliness? I really think that's true. And as somebody who grew up with her mother, <laughs> Handing her a toothbrush saying, go scrub baseboards and fans and all the little trivial things that I'm like, what, why would we clean this? Now as an adult, I look back and I say, thank you, mom. Thank you for teaching me that it's small details. It's the efforts of spending time in the trenches of cleaning and creating that feeling of calm and peace and organization that lends more to your ability to be happy. So where are some three, I just want to give you three things that you can do that are going to make a huge difference. And I know that you probably are feeling like, oh, well, I would if I had the time. I would if I could hire somebody. No excuses. Each of us have to do it ourselves, okay? So those three places you can make a difference are at home, in your car, and at work. So let's first talk about at home. Think about your counter spaces, think about bookshelves, dressers, any place with a flat top. I want you to spend 15 minutes, set your timer, and go clear off most everything. If, it, if you've got piles of papers, if you've got all sorts of trinkets all over, that's clutter. Get rid of the clutter. If it's not serving a purpose, if it's not there for a reason because you use it or it's helping you feel a certain thing, if it's just there because it's there, get rid of it, put it in a little box, put it under the bed or up in the attic or something. You don't need everything out. It's going to create chaos in your world. So clear off those non-essentials, take a little rag and wipe that off. If, if you're in the bathroom, those little baseboard things, I don't know what they're called, but they come up on the sides and they have a flat top. I've been in so many people's bathrooms and they let that get dusty. Wipe that off, wipe that off. Wipe that off. That creates such a feeling of just a lot more cleanliness. Same thing in the kitchen. Take the 30 seconds to take a toothbrush, keep it under the sink, and go around the little, gosh, I don't know the words for this, but you know, that little part that comes up on the sink <laughs> and attaches to the counter. Clean that out. There's a lot of guck in there. So just focus on countertops. Clear that out. I'm not telling you you have to have a perfectly organized closet, bed, anything just Take care of your countertops. Now at work, it's the same thing. How many of you have a desk that things get piled up and you can suddenly feel so stressed? Take five minutes, pile things up. If you're not working on it today, it doesn't go on your desk. It needs to go in a drawer, it needs to go on a bookshelf, it needs to go out of your space. You should have just a few basic things on your desk and it should only be projects you're working on today. Take the time quickly to wipe off your computer, wipe off your mouse, uh, make sure there's no dust or grime or grit. Maybe you ate lunch and there's a little spill. Fix all that. Take the five minutes, set a timer. Timers do amazing things for us. And if you'll do that at the beginning of your work day, how much more relaxed and whew, feelings of that peace will come into your life. Last but not least, let's talk about your car. Take 30 to 60 seconds every time you leave your car to go inside to grab any wrappers that you may have thrown in the car as you drive or to you know take any empty water bottles out maybe uh, grocery bags if you're a mom and the kids have thrown things all over just take that 30 to 60 seconds to quickly pick up the problem is when we don't do the small things repeatedly, it builds up, builds up, builds up, and then in your brain, it's creating this momentous thing that's overwhelming, and then you don't wanna do it, and then you resent it, and then you feel more burdened, and you put it on your shoulders of already overburdened, and hello, you feel stressed. So take the 30 to 60 seconds, and try and once a month, do a good vacuum out of your car, a good wash. Whenever you are sitting at a red light, keep those little towelettes in the console of your car quickly, wipe off your steering wheel, wipe off the dashboard, get the dust and grime. It will give you so much more feeling of just peace. Make sure you have an air freshener in your car as well. When you take this little bit of time to keep cleanliness in your life, you will feel the stress come down a bit. 
you will feel your feelings of peace and happiness and clarity come up. So put it to the test. Go do it. You're going to spend 15 minutes in your home, five minutes at your workspace, and 30 to 60 seconds picking up after yourself as you exit your car. These are the small things that make a big difference for you to power your life today. Thanks for watching. If this resonated with you, please share it with one person who comes to mind. Investing in yourself is the best investment you're ever going to make because when you improve your life, everybody around you improves their lives too. Subscribe to this channel so you are really sure to catch our next power session together so you can continue to power your life to one of more service, value, and love. Until then, power your life today.